All right, here we are out on Erie. I want to show you what we have going on here. First off, we are going to have our test where we're going to be doing a repair attempt here for this shingle. As you can see, it's got nails pulled through. The next one above will also have to be replaced. I went ahead and marked it out here. Then uh, you can see that it has a five and five eighths inch exposure with a 38 and five eighths inch length. Then we have our control over here to show you comparison of product. You can see these are lined up here. This one ends about here. It's an inch short. This product that we can purchase now is 39 and 5 eighths inch length with a 5 and 5 eighths inch exposure. We do have manufacturer letters stating that we cannot mix these products. So what we have to do on this is you're going to see there's nail holes all along here that I'll be removing a little bit underneath this shingle. Also, there's, there's nails in the very top of the shingle. So I'll be pulling, peeling this one off as well to remove those nails so that we can get this safely out. And this is our control so that we can always go back and forth to it to see what we have going on. For instance, right now, you see me wipe with this paintbrush. There's no granules. Come over to the control. This will be important later on. There's also no granules. You do see some of my chalk falling, but that's not granules. That's why it's pink. There's no pink on this roof. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So, first thing we're gonna have to do, unseal this. Oh, before we get started, I wanna show up one other thing. You can see here, there's no delamination of these tabs. They're not coming apart. This doesn't go inside. So that's very important to notice before we get started. Now let's go. First thing I wanna do, Break apart this sealant strip easily. like to show I see that right here what's going on so we're trying to get this you can see this bottom shingle is peeling apart that's a failure now let's see if we can get that all right so now we have this one what we're gonna have to do is find the nails
There's our shingle we have removed. Now, let's see what's going on here. If you try to put this other shingle in. It's just not, it's not gonna line up. See where that one is? It won't work. That being said, because of that, we're going to go ahead and reinstall the other one. On top of that, we have a do not mix letter from the manufacturer. We don't want to go against code. Um, so what we're going to have to do now, I'm going to slide this back in where it was, as if it were the new shingle. Okay. And you're going to want to go ahead and get now gun out. Set these up. Remember you pulled one from up here? You gotta get this just high enough for the nail guide. You don't really have to bend it a lot. Just enough, you will get this nail in there straight. All right, I see that again. Let's go ahead and look at this real quick. What we have going on here. You got a crease on this one. If you look under here, you see all the mat transfer? You got mat transfer going on, stuck to the back of your shingle. Just yet another shingle failure. Now, remember in the beginning, when I brought my bar, look what's going on with these now. You've got delamination to all of your tabs. Just better, these ones don't count, they're already delaminated. This one is the one we took out, of course it's not. See how it's still secure? Because we didn't have to bend it. Now, last thing, take that for me one more time. Go ahead and check granule loss so these are the ones we can see them got granules coming off see them coming all the way down look on my pitch hopper you can see them coming down onto my pitch hopper and remind you of the control you got nothing nothing on the control that being said with what we just did right here i would have to go ahead and mark this as a failed repair attempt Thank you for your time.